Hey everyone, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com and in today's video I'm going to be doing a sponsored review for CSS Hero 3.4 version but it's really just an overview of CSS Hero in general. So I'm going to dive in with just going over some of the things that make this a unique plugin for WordPress and CSS Hero is basically an independent plugin from the theme on page builders like Elementor, Divian, etc. that you can use it on. You can use it on anything independently from these page builders from these themes and create different unique ways of adjusting or manipulating a website in a way that you desire so it gives you a lot of flexibility over what you're doing here in your website so before I dive into everything that it can do I just wanted to throw it out there that they're having a Black Friday sale as well as Cyber Monday deals going on from November 23rd through the 30th of November so you might want to take advantage of it. I'll have a link in the description below as well for this upcoming promotion that they have going on here. So when you go to their site CSSHero.org you can see that there is this thing that says try the live demo and you can see kind of how it works right here in the screen in front of you where they're just maneuvering the font size and changing font weight and things like this and it's actually very easy to use so you can click on try the live demo or you can go to theme demos. I'm going to go there right now and I'm going to just search for one of the more popular themes. Now on here they have all these different themes that you can use and try it out. It says try with hero. I'm going to go back to the top and I'm actually going to search for Xerif which is a Xerif light theme right here that I've used on another WordPress tutorial that I did a while back. So if we click try with hero Let's just dive into how it actually looks and works and feels. And it takes a moment to load this testing interface here. But this is a great way for you to try it out before you actually buy it and see if it's something that will work for you. So now that it's loaded, you can see it says there's video tutorials over here that could be very helpful to get started. And hopefully this one that I'm going through right here helps you as well. So you can just go over here and if you hover over something, you can see there's this blue box that comes around it. Right here we have it around the header image here. Down here we would have it around specific symbols and shapes, the text right here, over images here as well as other things like this name right here. We can just click on it and start to change it very easily. It does look a little messed up here on the Xerif theme but that's probably partly due to my computer. And then if we go down here you can see there's the contact form. You can edit that as well because that blue box comes around it. So if I go back up to the top here, let's just click on this image right here and now it will bring up the options on the left side that we can go through and change. Now I want to point out before we dive into that, that there's this selector mode and then this navigate mode. So if you want to select an item like this background image like I just did that makes this come into play here, you're going to leave it on select mode. But if you want to navigate around a website, without it actually messing up. So let's just say you want to go to the sample page instead. You can do that without the selection tool blocking you from doing that and selecting things that you don't want to. So I'm going to go back and click select and I'm just going to click on this image again. And now we're into this image. Now there's also a couple other things up here I wanted to show you. There's the undo, the redo, and the history button. If you use Elementor that might look somewhat similar to what they have going on. And Divi has something a little bit different, but it looks more similar to Elementor with these three options here. And you can go back through your history and actually go to a place that you might have left off where your last changes were. So I definitely wanted to point that out. And I also wanted to point out you can check what it will look like on various devices right here. So this gives you a very good idea of what you're getting into in terms of how the builder is going to work and how you can actually manipulate and go back to changes that you had previously and if you mess up it's really not a big deal especially in this area where we're just playing around getting familiar with it so if we click on this image here we can go over it and let's just click on background to see what it looks like now if we go down here we click on image to add image it's automatically linked to the unsplash website and the images that they have on there so if we just went and clicked on popular right here it's going to load some of the most popular images from Unsplash's website that are used and then if we want to go to oldest we could click here and see a lot of them looks like these old computer images I've used these on previous sites years ago 
and then if we go to latest we can see the most recent ones on there as well so you can go through these or you can actually just search for something I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna search for a bear or something random and I'll just hit enter here to search and then let's just say I like this one I'll add this one right here to the site and then once I'm happy with it I'll apply image right here and you can choose the size so I'm just gonna go with extra large and we'll see how that looks and then we'll go from there so what we could do is go down here and click apply image and then we can resize it so let's just go with medium here and see what it looks like and now you can see there's the head of the bear right there with its eyes and ears on the actual image itself if we scroll down here we can change where it is so let's just say we want it to be up top we can click on that top part and see what change is going to affect you can go in the middle right here and now the bear is actually more centered on the page so if we like that we can just change that and leave it and I'll go down here and there's spacing and in the spacing section we can see it says 225 by 150 let's just make this 225 as well and see what that does and it gives us a little bit more space keeps our bear in the image let's go to 325 and then it looks a lot more full right there and then I'm gonna do 325 as well on the top so now you can really see the bear in this image very easily and then you'd want to save it and publish you can't actually save it in this demo mode but I wanted to show you that's how you would do that now let's say we wanted to change some text we could easily go down here and just click on this and we go to typography and there are so many different font families on this so if we go down we go to font manager it's gonna load Google fonts here and it also has type kit options as well so these Google fonts come with so many different options and it gives you a preview of what it's actually gonna look like so if we were to scroll down you can see that it says Arvo right now and if you wanted to scroll through and just pick one out we can see what the change does when we click on it let's just click on deco here and you can see it looks a lot different you can preview them live which I really like about this and get a good idea of what your sites gonna look like with different fonts on it so let's just say you go down here and you want something like Lado which is a very common one that's one that I use on a lot of websites you could click on that and then you could put into the project and it will tell you right there if you add it or remove it so you add it to the project now it says in project if you want to remove it you click that and it will go to remove now I'm just going to X out of this and if we wanted to you could also just click on this and you can change the typography weight so if you weren't happy with the font weight you can see it says Lato right there if you change the font weight to be larger you can get a preview of what it's going to look like live right here so let's just say you want it to be 700 you click on that you can change the font size really easily you can make so many different changes to the actual website and what it looks like and feels like right there on the screen and they all change within these sections here so if we scroll down let's just look at some other options here and I'm gonna look at these block quotes and I just wanted to show you this so if you were to click on this right here and if we go over to where it says typography here we can just click on where it says color and you can change the color right there live now let's say you only wanted to edit one of these elements and not another one so we'll go right here and just make it this purple color and let's say you wanted to do that you can actually click and right click on it and it says only on this template only this element and that's how you could do that so it only goes on that specific element on the page so that's just another thing you can do let's just go down here and I'll show you one more example on this Zara flight area where we're playing around so we see these contact form down here let's say we want to change how this button looks you can do a lot of fun things with this border radius button right here and I'm gonna just say let's make the border top left I'm gonna change that to be something crazy like I'll do 85 pixels and you can see that it brings this nice curvature to the side of it and let's go to the bottom right the opposite one and I'm gonna make that 85 as well just as an example and we can see we got this kind of weird looking button and that's how easily you can change that if you wanted to click in here and just change the typography as well you could do that change the font weight maybe you want something a little bit thicker or bigger you can do that let's just go with like 700 so it stands out you can see it's bigger right there in the boldness and then you can also increase the size as well so you can have this big button that really stands out if that's something you want 
So that gives you a good idea of what that will look like. And those things are about all I'm going to cover right now while in this playground. Next, I just wanted to go over how to actually set up the plugin itself. So if we were over here in the plugin section of our WordPress dashboard, it's going to be just like any other plugin. You're just going to go to add new and you're going to download the zip file that you got from the CSSHero.org website. And then you're going to just upload that activate it and then it's going to ask you or prompt you to activate your license key which can be found on CSSHero.org. It's a very simple process. It takes about two or three minutes to do but you just would add it just like you would any other plugin when you're adding a new one to a WordPress website. So if we go over here we can see that this is a website I actually started creating and it is one on just a subdomain name. It's a simple website and I just wanted to go over a few other things here. There's this thing called checkpoints here at the top and you can save a checkpoint as on a certain way through a project. You can do that. Let's say you make some big change. You might want to save that. You can open the checkpoints panel. You can have projects with CSS selectors, project variables, and have a project overview folder as well. And you can have different tools here that you can use as well, such as a font manager, you can reset the theme edits. There's different ways that you can go back to certain places you were at so you're not going to lose things or get bogged down with specific changes when you have the ability to go back and go to them. You can go to the help here and it says there is tool tips here if you want to turn that on. And then there's the quit button as well. So I'm right here on this home page and if you scroll down you can see there's just this hello world post. I'm going to go back up here and go to navigate. And then I'm going to go and select shop here. And then once I verify it's the correct page and there are some things that you can shop for, I'm going to go back up and change the tool to be the select tool again. So if we want to, we can edit some things very easily. So let's say I want to edit the background here beside these images for some reason. I can click on that. I can go to background. I can change the color right here and I can make it a totally different color if I want that will look different on the website itself. So maybe I'd want to make it like this and have it be a little more transparent, not so hard to read. And I could do that and make that change. Now I also can go here again and make it smaller with a mobile layout. So if we go to mobile landscape, you can see what it would look like. And maybe you want to have a different background color on this landscape. You can go and do that here and have something that's a little bit different for this type of design. And if you want to, you can scroll up and down through that by clicking here. You can't actually click on these elements. You're going to want to click and scroll up and down on here to make these changes or see what's available to change. And then you can click on something like this to be able to start to make the changes. Let's just add a border and we'll make it a few pixels here. And you can see this big thick border around if you make it like two pixels, you can see it's a lot smaller. And that gives you an idea of what it would look like on mobile. If we want to, we can change back to go to all devices. And you can save changes and update things here. And it will actually save here in live time as you go. So if you click on here, it will say the code editor. And let's say you actually wanted to write some CSS in here. This is where you would do it. And you could actually write it in here and have it change live on a screen as you do it. So that is an option if you are someone that wants to be writing CSS yourself. You can actually use it as a way to practice or as a way to see the changes live here on the actual page that you're editing. So I hope that's really helpful and I hope that's clear to you if you do want to use this code editor. It's called right here. So I'm going to just minimize this right now. And I just want to say... Overall, I think this is a good plugin. It's a definitely a solid plugin. I really love the website, how you can actually go through and try it on different themes and do plugin demos as well. It gives you a lot of flexibility over what you can actually do with this and getting used to the plugin itself, where you can actually try it out before you buy it. And I highly recommend that you do that. Again, I do have a link below in the description if you do want to try it out before you even think about buying it. And it is heavily discounted during this Black Friday and Cyber Monday season here. So I hope this overview was helpful of CSS Hero. I highly recommend that you also check out the docs section here on their page here so you can look at their knowledge base 
and on the site we'll give you videos that you can watch as well here to get the hang of how to use it if you want to just try it out and try some of those features as well. So I hope this was helpful everyone. Thanks for viewing. I greatly appreciate CSS Hero for sponsoring this video and I hope this was beneficial to all of you. Thanks.